The Taliban on Tuesday, August 17, says it wants peaceful relations with other countries and will respect the rights of women within the framework of Islamic law. In its first official news briefing since its lightning seizure of Kabul, the Taliban announcement suggests a softer line than its rule 20 years ago. Women will be afforded all their rights, uh, whether it is in work or other activities, because women are a key part of society. And uh, we are guaranteeing all their rights within the limits of Islam. The European Union says it will only cooperate with the Afghan government following the Taliban's return to power if it respects fundamental rights, including those of women. But women in Afghanistan express skepticism. The Taliban spokesman says the new rulers will not seek retribution against former soldiers and government officials. He adds, there is a huge difference between the Taliban now and 20 years ago, assuring Afghans that nobody is going to harm them or knock on their doors. I must remind you that we forgive everyone because it is in the interest of peace and stability in Afghanistan. All the groups that were confronting us are all forgiven. Meantime, U.S. President Joe Biden's approval rating drops by 7 percentage points to 46 percent, the lowest level of his seven-month-long presidency, according to a Reuters Ipsos poll conducted on Monday. Biden's popularity drops as the Taliban entered Kabul, wiping away two decades of U.S. military presence that cost nearly one trillion taxpayer dollars and thousands of American lives.